Hello! Okay, we've got some fun Kill Team previews to look at because they're deciding to drop everything Kill Team every day so I have to release upwards of three videos a day to keep up with it and I'm not going crazy, I'm not going crazy at all. Okay, so let's have a little look then, shall we? So, this is called Drop Forge Imperator. Im Imper Imperator? Imperator? God, don't you just love dyslexia? It's so fun for stuff like this. Okay, let's have a look then, shall we? So, next week sees two Kill Team starter sets land. Um, separately created with collections of models and terrain. Um, designed to make getting stuck in with Kill Team simple. Today we- Oh, we're gonna sneeze. I'm not gonna sneeze. I'm okay. Uh, today, today we're looking into the brave troops of Drop For Up Pure's Im Imperata. I'm gonna say Imperata. Imperatio. Imperatio. Imperator. Something like that. Um, and great accessories that come with them. Okay, I'm really enjoying these uh, starter kits. Because something I've noticed I do, and I'm sure a lot of you are potentially the same, who haven't got the biggest budget to spend lots on the game. I'm one of those people. Um, so, if you ever have some money to spend on a hobby, the last thing you're going to put money into is probably terrain. I think we can agree on that. Um, terrain's not really a, a huge budget point. Normally we just use something like a like a box, and go, yes, look, it's some terrain. And we spend lots of money on making these things nice, but we never buy any terrain because, well, if you want to use terrain, we just go to our local game store and, and use that stuff. So I think any kit that basically forces you to get terrain is always really good because then you've got some terrain lying about and it starts looking a bit nicer, dare I say. So yeah, I really like the way you get your terrain. You also get some specialist um, stratagems, but they're only available in these sets, which is a bit strange if you ask me. Um, some like nice cards, which you get on Age of Sigma. Um, you get some some mission stuff. Um, it's not super descriptive of what you actually get, but you get a, a set of people, and I think it's about thirty eight pounds, which isn't bad. It's, it's a good way to get started if you don't want to spend eighty quid on getting the um, the new big set. Here's a you know. You get this, and your friend also gets it, and you've got enough to start playing. Um, then you need to get a book, rule book, but that's, that's another story, isn't it? Okay, this starter, set, this starter set is designed to be the perfect way to either kick off or expand an Astronaut Time kill team. Inside you'll find a set of five Tempestus Scions um, cast into kind of plastic. Um, and connecting all the components you'll need to arm them as you wish. You'll be able to build yours um, specific drop force in Periata kill team. I think I'm pronouncing that right. Um, with uh, data, so you get data cards um, and add them to your kill team. Um, with invasion. Okay, I'm really liking the coloured plastic because I, painting, um, spraying, and painting up and basing the models is one of my favourite parts. But a lot of people really don't enjoy that. A lot of people enjoy the more gaming side of things, or just enjoy the, the more the, the building and not, not the painting and stuff, which, which is totally fine. So, so the way the, the way that they just give you coloured models means you can actually set them up and start playing, and not just have a, a grey field, which is it's a bit depressing, isn't it? When you when you fight an army and they've got really nice painted stuff, and you've just got grey stuff and some stuff spray black. So having something which is almost already there. Um, I just think it's really nice, and it just lets you start playing immediately, because, I mean, I've still got stuff to paint, which I've had for months and months now, so to have stuff you can already start playing with, and just not grey and undetailed, it's really nice. Anyway, I'm getting off a tangent, let's have a look. So, you'll also find terrain, astronautarum theme tokens, and a set of tactic cards, including unique options you won't find anywhere else. Speaking of which, the tactics! So. Uh, Drop Force Imperiata features a set of exclusive tactics that are um, that any astronaut um, team can use. So yes, sir, for example, allows you to maximize um, effective orders on your waiting arms. Okay, so the reason they're trying to entice you to get this because they give you certain tactics which you can only use when you buy this kit. Is what I'm getting, what vibe I'm getting, or maybe you have to put the train down to to get this kit. 
Um, but yeah, it's basically going, yeah, so if you get this, you get certain limited tactics and stuff. Which is okay, they've got to try and, they've got to try and incentivize it some way, haven't they? I suppose. Okay, so, so yes, sir, Astro Militarum tactic. I use this tactic after picking a model from your kill team to be, um, affected, um, by an order, uh, all models from your kill team, um, other than creatures of the leader. It's making a lot of sound. Um, within three inches of that model. So basically it lets you um, shout a tactic um, to more than one person. Uh, that's what I'm getting out of that, anyway. Okay, um, res... Ah, oh, why are these big words? I don't like big words because they're hard to read, okay? And I've got the pressure of you just staring at me, pressing unlike about a million times. So just... stressing me out. <laughs> okay. Renaissance... Port... Kalios. Lovely word there, which is definitely spelt and said right. Okay, on the other hand, it is a great it is great for making the most of your uh, Militarum Tempests and um, models, allowing you to take a choice of positions or set up um, a power fist arm sergeant for an early charge at the start of the game. Okay, Astro Militarum Tactic. This tactic is used at the start of the first battle round. Choose a Militarum Tempestus. A model from your kill team um, that is on the battlefield. Uh, that model can immediately make a normal move as if it were the movement phase, but instead of moving up um, their character, they move 2d6 instead. That's really good. So, yes, yeah, so they get to make a normal move again and they can move so 2d6. So, I would get 4, 5, 6, or you've got command point re rolls on this. So, there we go 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So, I get an extra 10 inches of movement. Um, which just speed will speed your game up a lot faster, especially if you um, equip them with some close combat stuff. So probably the best thing to do is build around this tactic and get someone with if relics of things, get someone with like a close combat relic, or get someone with some some strong CC. Uh, you even be able to benefit from unique uh, interactions with the terrain in the set. Um, Okay, so I imagine to get these tactics, you need to bring this terrain on board. It's not actually saying why this is so unique, um, or I'm, I've missed it, but I think you, when you use this, you'll take the terrain and there's a certain game mode for this terrain or something, that's what I'm assuming. Um, Sector Imperialis tactic, Astro Minotaurum tactic. Okay, yeah, okay, so it's for the Sector Imperialis. This is a kill zone. I'm starting to follow. Um, use this tactic at the beginning of the first battle round. Choose a Minotaurum. Um, armored. Oh god, these words! These words, man! See reverse. So there'll be a picture of whatever the hell that is on the reverse. Subtract one from um, nerve test you take from onto your kill team that within one inch um, of the container. Okay, so it's a little container, I'm assuming. Nerve tests kind of destroy you. If you take a nerve, if you fail a nerve test, I don't think you could do anything for the rest of that turn. So you are out of the game. Um, if you fail that nerve test. So, plus one to a nerve test. Um, I think normally it's a it's a four, isn't it? No, it's on a mortal wound. Um, I think it varies, but plus one. Might as well do it for one command point. Especially if it's your sergeant who generates you an extra command point. You need him to be good. Okay, drop um, drop force and pure will be available to pre-order on this weekend. Uh, well, the call manual for kill team. Okay, you know, right now. Okay, so all the rules are out. Um, for pre-order, it's all it's all on its way and stuff. Um, we've got a couple of days left. So that's the set. These are looking really interesting. I'm really liking the look of these. Um, I think if you've already got some Astro Militarum, you, you don't need this stuff, in, in all fairness. You, you're not going to need it. You've already got your stuff. You're just going to need the rule book and you can start playing. Um, you know what? I think even if, you, if you're buying the big Kill Team box, you could probably convert those Katari into Astro Militarum. So, it's a bit of an awkward one, this one. Um, but I think if you want to learn a load of different armies, say you want to learn Skatari, Gene Steelers, Colts, and Astro Militarum, and you haven't got any Astro Militarum, then getting this as an extra, it'll probably be a good idea. Because you can, you can pick some of Astro Militarum up for £18, or you can get some online for like a pound a model or something. Um, but yeah, it's, it's a nice little expansion, and it's good that they, they're, putting so much, they're, they're putting so much stuff behind Kill Team. They're really giving it a boost. So yeah, I'm looking forward to this. I'm um, really sorry about all the reading errors. There's a lot more than normal, I understand. Words are hard. Um, but yeah, 
Uh, any any comments or anything, stick them below. If you're enjoying these videos, like and subscribe because it helps me out. I need to get to a thousand subscribers as fast as possible. Um, so yeah. Um, see you later, I guess. Cheerio.